Hi, Cancer. Welcome. So, Cancer, this is going to be our You Versus Them Tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Um, it is a general reading, so feel free to reverse the roles if needed, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, the overall energy for you, Cancer, and the person you may be connecting with, let's start there uh, and get a card for you, or two cards. All right, so you have Aries here in the Ascendant. Could be dealing with Aries, or you could have that in your birth chart. Or it could just simply be the influencing vibes around you or the connection. So these two cards are talking about your outlook on life, your outlook on yourself, how you relate to others, um, your perspective. Um, and then it also talks about like this self-starting, daring, fierce, ready to get out their energy. I don't know if that's you bringing that to the table, Cancer, or the person you're connecting with. But um, that seems to be the overall vibe around the connection. Be careful during this time frame around any impulsiveness or argumentative type of energy as I feel like it seems that the energy is a bit heightened right now. So it may be really easy to go into that space for whatever reason. Um, so let's go a little bit deeper and see where this is headed. You have the Knight of Pentacles and your overall energy. And I don't have Scorpio out. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, Scorpio energy here for some of you. But I was going to say, I think I got the same card in the Scorpio reading. If you have that in your chart or dealing with one, check out their reading as well. All right, so you have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is all about trust. So this might be a time frame where you're needing to garner a little bit more trust when it comes to relationships. But I'm also getting more so trusting yourself. Trusting that you have you to fall back on cancer, that you are capable and dependable, and that you have the ability to uh, move through life, uh, understanding that the only person there really is to rely on at the end of all of this is self, you know. Um, but also, this is talking about your outlook on committed relationships or relationships in general and how trust or mistrust plays an issue there. Um, then the person you're connecting with has the 10 of wands. So this is kind of a heavy energy. It could feel very frustrating to this person right now. They may have just a lot of things weighing on them or a lot of things going on. So um, let's get further into it and see. And also I have a special guest in the background. I don't know if you can see her, but it's my puppy right there. You might see her moving around in the background. <laughs> um, all right, but let's get at it and see. So we're going to look at the recent past energy, Cancer, um, how you both perceive each other, how you genuinely feel underneath it all, and most likely outcome. So woo -hoo. recent past energy for Cancer, what led up to the now, the devil, the wheel, The Page of Cups. Why do I keep saying that? Ooh, why, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I kept... Anyways. Uh, yes. So, Cancer, you have the Page of Cups and Temperance. So, it might have felt like leading up into the now, right? That something really had a hold of you. Or you might have been in this space where you were fixated on, you know, maybe not the best types of thoughts, uh, maybe in a lower emotional vibration than say you're used to. Um, the good news is, as we come into the now energy, I feel like that vastly changing, right? And you starting to see like, uh, the doors of opportunity or the opportunity to try something new and that giving you enough like fuel right to kind of get back in uh, the saddle again so I get a sense of like there might have been something that occurred or a change that occurred cancer that initially felt like you weren't seeing the good in it at first you were just seeing mostly the negative but now as we go into Leo season or during the current energy it's like mm, getting some sort of fresh perspective. Like, you know what, maybe that 
maybe that isn't such a bad thing because now it opens me up to this new experience or this new connection or whatever, you know? So, and isn't that how it always works? You know, um, sometimes rejection is God's protection. You know what I mean? Like sometimes the things that we think are, are bad are actually, uh, building blocks, right. To something much better or some sort of improvement. So I feel like there's something that seems to be improving over time um, in the emotional self, okay? And you getting into the space of, you know, being more open about things and um, also focused on maybe like your independence or travel or self-sufficiency, you know, the more explorative side of you, Cancer, not always needing... Uh, something or someone they're giving me the word neediness like relinqu relinquishing some of that neediness or moving away from that energy right and i've had this song in my head i wasn't sure if it was for this reading but i'm getting it again so it must be uh but there's one lyric to the song where he says and this house do not feel like home if you love me don't let it go I, is that Imagine Dragons? I'm not 100% sure. If you know it, put it in the comments. Check out that song. Maybe the lyrics may resonate with you. All right. So you have the Four of Cups here and the Emperor. And this person's recent past energy. What else? My nose so itchy. Who else was my, what other reading was I doing where my nose would not quit itching? Was it Scorpios? Hmm. I don't remember. Are we going to get any more cards here? Hello. <laughs> As I say that, I get a whole book. All right. So the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups. That's one story right there. So let me keep that. So whoever you're connecting with, um, this person, you know, they're, they're someone that even if they're feminine, they might have masculine type of qualities, meaning like this person may be someone who typically likes to be the one in charge or that has this very intense or maybe dramatic, really, I'm getting the word dramatic personality, okay, um, yeah, and or it's literally just a masculine energy showing up. So um, I feel like this person feels like they missed out on something. And they've been carrying this around with them for a while. They've, they've tried to self-reflect on it, um, on what it is that they feel that they're missing. And I feel like the conclusion that they came to is that they're missing love or romance. Um, and yet at the same time, this person wanting stability and to feel grounded. So it seems that they've done a lot of contemplation around like, can I have both? Or how, how can I reconcile things in my life to have all of that of which I want? Both financial stability and security, a place to call home, um, but also like this romance. And I heard a fleeting fleeting romance. So it could be that this person is someone who is somewhat non-committal or it's like romance doesn't seem to like stick around for them. Uh, you know, or like maybe there's someone that's a little bit flaky. Sorry, just saying like maybe it's them that that's fleeting when it comes to love or they have a history of that. Um, there's some sort of spiritual uh, connection here um, or like this message here about this person having some growth when it comes to that area of their life and doing some reflection on that. So let's look at how you see each other, your perception, your head space, um, and then go a little bit deeper. So how does cancer, what's going on in the head space? How do they perceive the connection? Knight of Wands, 
Ten of Swords. The Three of Wands. Ooh. Let's get one more. And the Five of Pentacles. So, Cancer, I feel like you're ready for some action here. Uh, it's almost like you want to clear... See, now y'all are in the space of wanting to have like a clean slate to move forward, to have more action, have more excitement, have more fun in your life. And at the same time, there's a fear of being alone. It's like wanting to be independent, wanting to be self-sufficient, but then fearing loneliness or that you'll be alone, which the message coming through from my guidance is that you are never really alone because you always have your inner being you always have your spiritual guidance but also you have law of attraction and law of attraction will never leave you alone it will match you up with other people who are in a same or similar vibrational pattern uh, it's just whether you're going to be open to it or not and and spirit asking you to be open to new experiences and new people during this time frame, um, exploring new things and to not let fear kind of cloud your outlook on life. Okay. Um, and certainly this fear could be stemming from, you know, uh, a fear of abandonment or issues with relationships in the past, possibly. But it's just that, a fear, false evidence appearing real. That's what fear means, right? So they're wanting you to persevere through that and to move forward, um, Cancer. So let's see what's going on in this person's headspace. And that song is still playing, kind of... Kind of fitting given the messages that I'm giving now that I think about it. Um, okay, so you have the Empress here showing up in this person's headspace. The star, FYI, Aquarian, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy out so far, and Virgo. Um, and then the Nine of Swords. So this person may be focused on. Um, tending to their own desires right now, tending to their own wish fulfillment. Um, this person may be patiently waiting for some for something to come to fruition in their life. Um, they may or may not be talking about this. I feel like this person has a tendency to get stuck in a headspace where they get worrisome thoughts and it kind of blocks them from moving forward in a way that could be so much easier. It's almost like this person has a tendency to make things more difficult than they need to be um, because of just of the way that they think about things. Um, there's like this impulsive type of energy coming through on this person's end. Uh, although I feel like they don't want to be seen as that. So like I feel like them wanting to be seen as capable and in control, but actually they're quite, you know, they have the ability to be quite impulsive though. Um, this person might be wishing for communication to come through say if you're not currently talking they may be wanting that um, but I just feel like they get into this headspace uh, cancer where it's difficult for them to see past their own bias almost their own perception um, even though I feel that there's a lot of self-reflection going on. It is always harder to see ourselves outside of ourselves, but I feel like this person in particular has difficulty sometimes, you know, being able to self-realize, you know? Um, when it comes to how they see the connection, they may want healing around the connection, they may want communication, but they also get stressed over the connection for whatever reason. So. Let's go into the emotional space then and see what is going on there in the emotions. <laughs> you see my dog has switched positions back there. Get comfy, baby. <laughs> She's a hoot. All right, so the emotional space then. Four of swords. Eight of cups. Seven of Wands, 
three of pentacles. So in this person's, no, not this, in your heart space, um, it's actually looking quite good, right? So this is you kind of minding your own business, I feel. Um, working on things that are important to you, but not overextending yourself. Some of y'all are a little bit too much in the comfort zone, and you might be encouraged to, again, move out of that comfort zone during this time frame. But I feel like it's a peaceful comfort zoning. <laughs> you know, it's not like a stagnant, like whatever, like you were in the past. This is more of a peaceful type of energy. It's kind of like being at peace and in, in your comfort, right? Um, maybe after a time period of needing to kind of walk away from those lower level emotions that you were getting fixated on um, and allow yourself some time to rest and to heal and to get into a better headspace, but also a better emotional space. So I feel a lot of work going on in the emotional space as far as like getting into this more um, peaceful type of vibration and things actually coming together in a more aligned way because you are going into that energy. I just feel like you're in this space, Cancer, of, you know, wanting cooperation uh, or wanting to work on things. And if somebody is not willing to contribute to your peace or work on things in a healthy way, you're just not being open to that at all during this time frame. So let's see uh, this person's emotional space then, Cancer. The Knight of Pentacles. The Magician. Six of Swords. Ooh, you had one flip mine. I didn't even see it. The High Priestess. So this person's emotional space um, is also kind of in a healthy or going towards a healthier state of mind. Okay. So, um, I feel like this person has waited long enough and now they're ready to manifest movement forward. Um, possibly wanting to actually move or travel for some of you, but energetically speaking, like this person's ready to kind of move past something, okay? They, they're, they're strongly being guided by their intuition. And this is after a period of self-reflection. Um, you know, and this person trying to figure out mostly like what is missing. I, I just get a sense of like them feeling like they can't put their finger you know, in the past, they couldn't put their finger on what they felt they were missing out on maybe. And now it's becoming more clear to them um, what it is that they feel that they're missing. And that's kind of intuitively guiding them forward to kind of go towards uh, that of which they desire, right? Um, I feel like this person being pretty sturdy in their heart space as far as like what it is that they're wanting and what it is that they're going towards. And some of them definitely feel intuitively led towards this connection, but it could be away from the connection as well. Like this is a general reading, so you certainly would know if you felt someone was uh, coming towards you or away from you, right? So let's see what the uh, most likely future outcome is cancer and keep in mind all of the future outcomes can be changed with free will so take it as it resonates and let's see what we have coming in so three of cups ten of cups knight of swords and the hermit so Wow, Cancer, things are really coming together nicely. I mean, <laughs> you'll really only have one negative card, so and so to speak. I don't really 
think of negatives and positives, but one card that's hindering you, right? And the rest are super positive. So it's like having this emotional support here, this connectivity coming in, this social network, some of you a reconciliation or just, yeah, things feeling easy, things feeling peaceful, things feeling good, like, like home, okay? Like that song was saying, and this like giving you the pep back in your step to kind of go after some things that maybe you put on the back burner that now, you know, are lining up for you. And then there's this period of like self-reflection of complete gratitude and appreciation. And this is the sweet spot here, Cancer. It's like, it's like not only realizing that things are always working out for you because they are. But it's also getting into this space of like appreciation for the things that you have in your life currently, but also the things that are coming your way and the sense of like, wow, isn't that wonderful? Um, now, some of y'all ha have yet to attain this, but that's where you're being guided towards. So some of y'all have in your mind right what you want for your life or for your relationship and and you've been reflecting on it and now is the time period where you might see movement or progression in that okay so there's a couple different groups of you but whatever's coming through looks absolutely beautiful and they're giving me the song um excuse me <laughs> Um, let's give them something to talk about. Something to talk about. Oh, really? Okay, so there's an additional message that's coming through, and it's kind of a side note. And I don't even want to, like, uh, I don't know. There's this message here, too, though, about, like, Um, be careful when you're confiding in people make sure that these are people that actually have your back that actually want the best for you cancer um, because there's a small caution here about like someone like running and telling your business or maybe you doing that be careful you know if it ain't your business it's not your business to spread right <laughs> that goes for whoever that resonates with but there's a possibility of that so I was kind of hesitant to bring that up but I did so <laughs> okay so um person you're connecting with what is their most likely future outcome nine of cups the strength card yeah I feel like this person has been dissatisfied with you know where they're at for some time okay or maybe dissatisfied in a relationship or a commitment or something they've committed themselves to and I, I just feel them being really pushed right to kind of move on that or change something about that and I feel like it does require strength in order to make some big changes right but there's a sense of dissatisfaction going on in this person's energy and it weighs them down um, and I feel like they're aware of it. They've tried to maybe try to figure out why they feel the way that they feel or what's missing out, right? To the point that they've stressed themselves um, or maybe even put some blockages up. But I feel this person going through this restoration healing phase where they are going to be getting back in touch with what inspires them, what drives them, where their passion is at. And this is encouraging growth in this person but mostly it's encouraging growth in their confidence in, the, in, in them being able to confidently uh, look at themselves in the mirror or, you know, know what's good for them without feeling like they should question that or that something's missing here. But there is this sense of dissatisfaction in this person's energy because... They have yet to figure, they have yet to figure it out. They're on their path of figuring it out. Emotionally, it's there. Sometimes they're there too. 
but sometimes not. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the journey, of course, and definitely about the journey for this connection. So let's see what the law of attraction has to say about this. Oh, wow, of course. It says, my future isn't about my past. It is only about now. It says, nothing that has ever happened has anything to do with now unless in my now I continue to think and speak about it. Fresh new thoughts today will always give me a fresh new experience. This is a reminder, and this is hard for the human psyche to grasp, but this is the truth. This is a reminder that nothing that has ever happened up until the now moment matters unless you make it matter, unless you repurpose it in your mind, unless you dwell on it, etc. Because there only ever is the here and now. Time is an illusion, right? And so when, when people look back on the past and they say, I'm damaged, I'm this, I'm that, it's just a perspective. It's the way that they're thinking. It's never the truth because you have fresh energy available to you and a fresh perspective available to you every day you wake up. And that's what the true definition of being born again means. It means you wake up with a fresh, clean slate. Now, if you start thinking back on things and recalling things and repurposing things, then you basically just recreate your past in your current now. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can change your thought at any point in time. And this is a chance for you, Cancer, to get some sort of new, fresh perspective of which you can launch forward from. So, wow. Ah, intense reading. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with or have in your chart. I have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Capricorn, and Virgo again. Those are the primary zodiac signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind it's a general reading, so it could be any sign. Um, but if it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. As they do have content videos over there, and I will be doing an event that's going to be posted this weekend on meditation and channeling. If you're interested, check me out over there, Tara Time with Dana. Linked in the description box below, as well as the about section of my YouTube. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best. And until next time, my friends, namaste.